it's me, Mandy, and this is, okay, I know I say all the time that I love my clients, and I am, like, I love my people, but I have to tell you right now, this is Shoni, I love her, love her, love her, love her. BFFs. We really are BFFs, like, <laughs> I, we, she found me somehow, I don't know how, like, a while ago, how long have I been doing your hair now? Facebook, I think it Facebook? was. Facebook? Yeah. She found me through Facebook, and it was the best Facebook action of all time because um, I am so excited to be having her in my chair, first of all. Second of all, showing you guys what I'm doing to her hair, and having something like this color in my chair is amazing, okay? Because most people are like, you do blondes. You only do blondes. No, I do brunettes as well, and I also do redheads. So she's actually born a redhead. She is a redhead, okay? Ugh. When I say red, it is not bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> I want your hair color or someone else's hair color besides this. Whatever, you guys. Absolutely yeah. not. Because this color right here is one in a million. It's very rare, and you actually don't really get it that often. In fact, when I get somebody that sits in my chair who's like, I want to be a redhead. I'm telling you right now, you can never get this color on somebody's head without it being natural. Um, we have, right, you see about three inches. We have about three inches of roots. It's been six months since we've had Shoni in this chair, and it's been the longest six months of my oh. life. So, I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> I know, it's been hard for her and for me because I miss her every day of my life. <laughs> okay, all this color right here, through about right here, this is about three inches of roots. And this is her virgin color. So as you guys can see, she is naturally a very warm, warm color. So this is my goal. This is my plan. She came into my chair to say, just help me. Just fix me. Do what you want. <laughs> this is what's fun about her. She kind of lets me do what I want with her hair. It's true. She trusted me, right? I do. Because you're the best. She's so sweet. I love her. Um, so this is what I, this is my professional advice to her and my professional opinion of what I think would look amazing on Shoni today, okay? So because she is naturally a redhead, we are not changing that. We are keeping that, but we're also going to create some pops and we're going to liven this hair right up for her. Ruth, she's naturally a level seven. This tone through here, through her mid shaft to her ends, she's about a six level. So back six months ago, we took her a little bit darker, but we added a lot of warmth to it. Mm -hmm. And this is what it's faded into it. We added, actually took her dark to a level five. So now we are going to, but this is what my plan is with her hair, okay? Settle sombre, okay? It's not gonna be an ombre. It's not gonna be a melt. It's going to be very subtle, yet beautiful, low maintenance, still red, but has some beautiful pops of tone, a blonde in her hair. Just kind of through the mid shaft to her ends, okay? And kind of framing her face up a little bit. Is I want to actually give her some depth to her roots, but I also want to have some brightness to the ends, okay? Take a permanent color line with Redken Color Gels. Then what, what I'm going to do through the mid shaft is gloss this color, the same exact tone. And then through her ends, I'm going to take her a teeny bit brighter and lighter. So that's what our plan is today. We are so excited. If you want to watch how I transform a beautiful red head into a beautiful sun-kissed red head with a smidgen of blonde, you, you stay here and watch this whole video, okay? So what I'm using on her hair today at her roots, these three tones. I'm using H Warm Gold, which is Golden Apricot, 5NG Caramel, and 6NW through Redken Color Gels. These are my all-time favorite colors, using a lot, putting a lot of warmth into the hair. So I'm actually gonna be putting in um, different varieties of the color, okay? So eight warm golden bottle, because I love this color. So really, I all, all I have is just a little bit of that. So that's actually half, that's only half, okay? So I'm adding in half of that. Okay, absolutely love color gels. Um, five neutral golds, um, and I'm gonna be putting in one ounce of that. I'm all about mixing color. Mixing color is amazing because what that does for you is it pops shine, it pops different tones. So as you see, I have a caramel, and I have a um, mango color and I also have a brandy color going into this which is all separate different tones. I'm going to be adding in one um, ounce of 6NW. 
So, so far in this little mixture, I have three colors, okay? I'm gonna be putting in 1 8 ounce of Olaplex, and the reason why is because I want to keep the color super pigmented, and I wanna keep the hair from fading as less as possible. So just 1 8 ounce, also that's gonna give like immense amounts of shine to the hair. So, I'm gonna add that in there, okay? And I, it's all equal parting. So because I have a total of two and two and a half of color, I'm gonna be adding in two and a half of developer, okay? So I want deposit only at the roots. That's why I'm using 10 volume. Okay, now we are on to the next bowl here, okay? I have three I have three different colors here. These are just shades EQ. I am putting these on the mid shaft to her ends with this color. I don't need a ton of, I just really wanna gloss her mid shaft and I wanna actually add warmth also into that. So we have 5C, 5RV, and 6WG in Redken Shades EQ. Which is I can with 6WG because I'm kind of completely out of it. Okay, cool. I literally just have a little smidgen of 6 warm. Look at that color in there. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add that color in there, that 6WG, 5C, which is chilly. It's, I'm adding in one ounce. Hey, look at that color, do you guys see that? That's how pretty this color is going to be. And I'm gonna be adding that also in. Last color, you guys, you may think I'm crazy because I mix, I am a mixer, but the reason why I mix a lot is because it gives so much dimension and shine and under a lot of beautiful undertone color. Okay, again, I'm going to now add in 5RV, um, which is a little bit of a red violet tone and one ounce, perfect. Okay, and this is super, super liquid. So you have to actually, you can use thickener on that, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to right now. Lash lift, of course, you know it's my all time fave. I'm gonna be putting in just a solid scoop, okay? 40 volume, that's going to be diluted down to 30 volume. Now into my bleach, I'm gonna be adding in um, 1 8 ounce, but I'm adding in just 1 8 ounce to keep as much integrity I can as possible, but that's just with one scoop. So I have three colors in this bowl, three colors in this bowl, and then lightener. So I have a total of seven colors. And I love mixing everything I do because I get amazing results every single time. And you may or may not do it this route, but if you don't, that's completely fine. This is the way I do it and the way that works for me and the way I love it. Okay, you guys, so we are now here at the sectioning and her parting, okay? We are going in here and the very first step I'm doing is applying on her roots, this the Redken three colors. So about through right here is where I wanna stop this color because I absolutely love this mid shaft color right here, it's absolutely beautiful. But I will show you guys what I will be doing with that. So this is kind of what I'll be doing throughout the entire um, hairline all the way all over her hair. I will be applying this color all the way down and I'm gonna do about, I'm taking this color about three inches. Can you tell she has so much hair? That's why I have to mix a lot. Just going through here and just painting this on. How many of 
you on my Periscope are hairdressers? I want to know. Who does hair? Say I, I, I. Tap the screen. Hearts. We got one. Okay. Two. Three. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Four. Oh, an engineer. Oh, hey, that's cool. Engineer is awesome. That's nothing to complain about. Thanks for coming in here, engineer, on the hair channel. You're freaking awesome. Oh, hey, who uses Redken? I want to know. Girls, boys, whoever you are, do you guys love color? What's your favorite thing? What do you specialize in? Color, extensions, cutting. I absolutely love how Redken Color Gels applies onto the hair. It is so smooth and glossy and beautiful and it's just a perfect application. I just absolutely love it. Okay, you guys, so now we are done with all the roots application. Now what we are going to do, where I stopped that color, we are now going to apply this tone onto the mid shaft of the hair. But this is gonna be fun because I wanna show you here and this color, okay? I'll show you the color and you'll be able to see how pretty this tone is. So, I'm just gonna go through here, all the way down. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that about midsection of her hair. Look at this color, I wanna just show you guys this color. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a deep auburn tone. It's gonna be super rich and beautiful. <laughs> I'm just taking medium sized sections and again where her color ends, I'm just painting on this tone right through the mid shaft and keeping out the ends for right now because I'm going to be doing a mixture of blonde along with this tone um, on her ends. So again, just really saturating really nicely and I'm leaving about that much of the ends out. As hairdressers, oh. See, if you get something like that on the skin, instantly, instantly, instantly take it off right that second because that will stain the skin super quick. And sometimes that happens, you know? Sometimes. I'm not even mad. And I have Shoni who's amazing and she doesn't even get mad at me about it. But doing all over colors like this, it's a pretty messy situation. And weave out. And I'm gonna do a few different weaves on her hair. I'm gonna be using a few very small fine weaves, a few medium sized weaves. Um, so right now, that's about the size of weave that I really like. What's gonna happen now is I'm going to take my color board. I'm going to be painting on my liner, okay? Just like this, right onto the board. All the way to the ends, okay? And I will need to kind of do a little teeny bit of overlapping with the liner um, because I want it to be very blended, okay? So I'm just going in here and saturating that and making sure those ends have liner all the way to the very, very bottom. Everywhere I like to circle it and that the way it will get all the way to the underneath hair. Then what I like to do once I have my product on here and I feel good about that, I don't want that just to be a straight line, okay? So what you're gonna do once that happens is you're gonna take your blur brush from Redken and you're going to just kind of blur that together. So you kind of just blur that up and kind of blur everything together. And this blur brush is amazing. I've been actually using it quite a bit, but I haven't showed you guys yet. So I'm just actually overlapping that. So under this color is gonna be that toner color that I added in there, but I, Every bleach is pretty much going to eat through that. Okay, you guys, so next section, what I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be putting all of the ends blonde, okay? I want to disconnect this color together, but I also want some dimension and pops of blonde, and that is why I'm not applying every bit of that blonde, okay? So I'm going to be weaving out a little bit more, and I'm going to be taking on my foams here, my MB Mesh foams, and I'm gonna paint on to those ends the same color I have through the mid shaft color, okay? So those are gonna be some, I'm gonna kinda of pick and choose the color where I want it to be. And that's what's fun about hair is you can just pick and choose where you want the color to be placed, okay? So make sure you get all of that really nicely up there. 
Looks like blood, but it's not. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I know. It's like, what happened in that salon? <laughs> Bloody everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to just go in here, and I want some of those ends to have that nice, beautiful color. And I'm going just to fold that up right there. Okay, and this subsection, you guys, this color, I want to keep out. So I want, I want three different colors. I want some blonde. I want some of these beautiful tones of auburn in here. And then I want a deep auburn. So it's going to be so beautiful. And I'm going to link in the description below, you guys, everything that I use in this color today because there's so many colors. I'm going to link it all together so you guys will not miss out. If you have a client who loves this hair or has something similar to this, don't you worry, I got your back. I have all the colors linked below. Okay, same thing. Pressing that and holding that together. Okay, next section is going to now be lightener. So we're gonna do every other section. Weave out. Take your color board, place your hair. Add in your 20 volume lightener. Okay, all the way to those ends. Do not neglect the ends. I am going to be trimming about an inch off her, her ends, um, but I am doing that because she needs a haircut. Taking my blur brush, blurring that together. So pretty much what the blur the blur brush does is it, it's blurring things together. It's kind of fading it and transitioning it together. So I'm actually dipping my brush into my lightener though because I want to add more lightener. And I'm overlapping it on top of that, that beautiful tone color that I had in there. Taking another foam, placing it. I love these foams so much. I have a discount code, you guys. Go ahead and go to mbmesh.com. So we're gonna have a beautiful mixture of color in this hair. We're gonna have everything from blonde to caramel to auburn to just a beautiful dimensional color. And that's exactly my goal on this hair right now. I'm actually going to just to paint this straight onto the foam right now because it seems a little bit easier. And that's what's fun about hair, you guys. You can try things and you're like, okay, this actually seems a little bit more difficult to use the board. So I'm gonna go in here and just make sure that all those ends are in here. But I, the biggest trick that I wanna have happen is making sure I am blurring up and making that transition really nicely. And I actually like putting the color right onto the MB mesh because it actually seems like it's saturating a little bit better. So then again, taking my blur brush and I'm going to just go in here and transition this color and create a very, very subtle tone, transitioning from that depth to that very nice mid color, of, and then really light at the end. That's my goal here. So then again, fold that on up. Do things that makes it easier. I mean, if the board works better for you, great. Then use it. If it doesn't, then don't use it. You gotta, as a hairdresser, you gotta do things that work easier for you. So. Again, I am just making sure those ends are super saturated. And if I were just to leave it just like that, you guys, can you see how there's just a strict line right there? You do not want that because then that's when it's gonna look kind of dip dyed. So you're gonna wanna take your brush and you can also do that with another brush. If you don't have the blur brush, you should invest in one, honestly, because they're amazing. Um, I got it in a packet with another color. If you really have to, you can take your brush and just kind of feather through that midsection, just like that, and kind of blur things together with your brush. That's your option. But I had to invest into this blur brush because I was like, this is amazing. So then again, see how it kind of softens up that line? It just softens up that harsh line that's created when you add in that color. Perfect. Fold that baby on up. No damage. 
damage. I'm taking my blur brush, blurring that up together. See how that just kind of created that harsh line to soften? This thing is unbelievable. I absolutely love this blur brush. Folding that up. I cannot use gloves, you guys. If you're gonna comment about why am I not using gloves, I, right now, I have so much happening and I just am feeling overwhelmed when I wear gloves. So I don't care if I have stained hands. Welcome to a hairdresser's life. Okay, you guys, so I have her all foamed up and it's pretty close to being done to processing. Um, I wanna show you guys what's happening underneath here. Are you ready to see? Da, 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 da. Look how amazing. We're ready to wash out her hair. I wanna show you the integrity of the hair, how it stayed very, very nice and totally healthy. Her hair like totally feels good, amazing. Her hair's super strong. Her hair could probably handle 120 developer on there, <laughs> but she has super blonde, nice and results here. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty, so excited. So we just rinsed her out. I'm now going to take my toner bottle and she has a ton of hair. Um, so I'm gonna just take like little sections at a time really quick. And I'm gonna just kind of gather just like this and put a little bit of toner on it through here. Get on each side. Perfect, let that set for a minute. Get another set. Trying to get this all over the head in one little section would be rough. Okay, I mean, I don't need to focus anywhere else but those ends. But really I'm just toning just to brighten and kind of create a little bit of an ashier effect with the blonde. Just really dig in there and just press where you feel like you need the most toning at, but I don't feel like I need any specific toning. Like, I mean, honestly, if I didn't even tone it, it would have been okay. But I like to tone it just to give it a nice, glossy, pretty tone. Okay. Literally, I only left it on for about two minutes. Hey. Um, hi, hey. we are finished. We're finished, we're finished with our hair. You guys, it was a long day. It was a long process because mm -hmm. she has so much hair, but we <sighs> are so happy. I love it. Look at these results. Look how amazing it is. Look at this yes. tone. This is exactly what I wanted to accomplish. So what I wanted to accomplish is in-depth, very good, beautiful, depth, rich roots, along with it transitioning down to this light, beautiful color. I am so happy with the results. Her hair feels I am too. Amazing. Are you so happy? <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you I so much. I love her. She was so patient today. I love it. Um, and um, also, you guys, I want you guys to see an up close because blurring was amazing. That blurring brush is like top dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this tone. Look how beautiful. It's so shiny. It transitions amazingly. You don't have any harsh lines anywhere. And honestly, you guys, look how how beautiful that tone is. We have warmth, we have auburn, we have caramel, we have a pop of blonde, we have some beautiful tones in here. Look at that deep red color, that deep auburn color that I absolutely love. Uh, I'm so Yay. obsessed, you guys. And what I did here is I wanted this to have a lot of depth again, along with transitioning into that beautiful blonde caramel tone, but not leaving out I didn't want this all to be blonde. So it was perfect to add in the pops of red and auburn into the ends because it's not so drastic. That's what we love about it. Look at that, oh my gosh, so pretty. I can't even tell you, it doesn't even do justice, honestly. And Olaplex in this hair is so, I just give this video a huge, fat, huge, humongous thumbs up. Like, I cannot believe <laughs> how beautiful her hair is. It is such a subtle change. Look at the framing of her face. Look at that beautiful blonde color around her face. This will be so amazing for the summer for her. It's so much fun to me to put in a ton of colors. Mixing three colors and then another three colors. So on the top we have three colors with Red King color gels. The mist shaft we have Shade ZQ, three colors. And then the ends we have Lightener with Olaplex. And honestly, doing that 
you see these results. That's exactly what happened. So a lot of people are like, why would you mix three colors all together? Because you get results like this. You don't go lazy with your color. Just don't do it because honestly, you can get amazing results if you mix up color the right, correct way. Also, I'm going to be sending her home with Olaplex number three because all my clients go home with an Olaplex number three. So here you go. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> and then she's going to be getting uh, this cute, adorable blue wet brush because she will no, no longer use her crappy old brush anymore. So that's yours. Um, and what I want her to be doing is keeping her hair in cool, toned water, lukewarm water, keeping heat minimal. And really what's nice about Shoni though is she air dries her hair all the time, right? I do. She kind of just air dries it. It just feels better. Yeah. It makes my hair, it's made my hair healthier too. Her hair has grown so quick. Yeah. I'm so happy about it. We just trimmed up the ends a little bit, just took mm -hmm. about an inch off just for fun because she can have, she can because her hair grows that fast. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys, if you love this video, if I taught you a thing or two, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Um, I love you all and I hope that you love me back because I will keep doing these videos for you um, and I will show you guys the after pictures, okay? So you stay right there, do not leave and I will see you in my next tutorial, okay? Bye guys!